And explain about your project my project is banking loan processing management system it is working based on the fox it is whoever wants to the loan and the system allows to the user and once the user is um, getting to the application it will show the registration form and uh, getting the details from the user once basic uh, details like salary savings bank card details once the uh, user click into the submit button the data is um, getting to the uh, stored into the database and the back end application is validating the uh, who is eligible for loan based on the uh, salary sub- for the user's salary above 5 lakhs uh, he is eligible for loan and uh, this type of uh, validation i do in my project so and, uh, where did you use this application inheritance inheritance, inheritance I, i i have a abstract class and uh, i extend that uh, whatever methods in abstract class i extend that uh, extend the class abstract class i will use in a driver class that methods in driver class i implement okay so explain about uh, the parent class contain a method if i want to override the method if the child class throwing exception the same overrided method throwing the exception in the child do i need to throw the parent exception or not yes, absolutely we are throwing the parent okay. exception then i am getting the exception in the parent class should i throw it in a no, child sir. class no need to throw Okay. Need to throw. Okay. Explain about multi-threading. I uh, use it for reusing the uh, proper processors in the system. Multi-threading is used for um, if you want to do multiple tasks at a time, then I can go for multi-threading. In multi-threading, thread is come thread is a term from the tasking uh, in two types of multitasking. Thread-based multitasking and process-based multitasking. So how to achieve this multi? How to achieve by using thread class extend thread run. You have to mention run. Which one is better? Both are better, sir. What is uh, based on that? Where they would. If I'm extend a thread how we need to process if we want to make our thread, uh, our class as a thread we extend the thread class start there is a method called start and the start method is calling run method that run method is uh, in the uh, runnable interface so the start method is call, uh, calling only more run so that's why i am creating it okay so, so explain about java 8 features java 8 features in java 8 feature is for uh, and expressive way to perform a action in java 8 features uh, introducing lambda expressions and uh, enabling the function interface what is functional interface functional functional program is enabling the functional program functional interface means they in functional interface have only one other method that the interface we can say functional interface okay, explain about some functional interfaces which you use predicate function and consumer supplier mm-hmm. these are the functional interfaces introduced after java what are the methods you used in it predicate is a predicate is a functional interface in predicate functional interface there is a abstract method named called test uh, and uh, function function is also a functional interface and uh, there is an abstract method named called up Like consumer accept is an abstract method supply is a get is an abstract method. right so what is the biggest achievement you did it in your total career period uh, i mean from childhood onwards till now so what is the biggest achievement you did and uh, someone said yes you did a great job so did you complete such kind of things in which anywhere in your and when i was in my degree second year i got i got a second prize in sen uh, doing sen so that is the achievement that is the achievement for you okay very good nagraj Good luck. All the best.